Hey guys, welcome back to our series on efficiency in DMP. In this video, we're going to talk about the Hosios condition. Let's go. So in terms of comparing our job creation conditions, we first need to reformulate our job creation condition in the context of DMP by going and using our wage determination equation. This is a little bit different from what I've stated in our DMP model, but it could be directly derived by noting what our um, unemployed Bellman equation really is and what you really is. Um, we can rewrite our job creation condition from above as follows, and we have to hold that with reference to our planner's condition over here. So comparing these two conditions, we see that they are very similar. They're actually the same when beta here is equal to eta theta, or where we say our worker's share of surplus from our Nash bargaining is the same as that from the planner's problem. This brings us to uh, the Hosios condition, right? We say that our job creation condition in competitive equilibrium is constrained efficient if we have eta theta equal to beta there, right? Empirically, the Hosios condition can be satisfied, but in general, it's not. So till now, I haven't really gone into what eta theta is, and I, we just defined it as um, minus theta times Q prime all over Q theta. Um, we interpret this as the elasticity of vacancy duration with respect to the unemployment rate. However, for the sake of this interpretation, I'm just calling eta theta as the surplus allocated by the planner um, compared to the surplus allocated through uh, a Nash bargaining environment. Even though beta here would be a exogenous term here, um, it's something that uh, we need to go and think about. So. This is our series on um, efficiency in the context of DMP. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.